Hi everybody, Peter Vogt, the introvert advocate here. And today's video is about your right as an introvert to be heard, to be listened to, to be truly heard when you're trying to communicate, trying to speak, whatever it might be. And once again, it comes from this document that I put together called the Introvert's Bill of Rights, which you can find uh, both in a free version and a poster version if you're interested on my website at introvertinsights.com. So if you are interested, be sure to check that out. Let me just quickly read you uh, this right, which is number six on the Introvert's Bill of Rights. I will, uh, I will acknowledge ahead of time that, you know, this one could, this one could appear on the Human's Bill of Rights, the, the Everyone's Bill of Rights, but there's a, there's definitely an introverted twist on this that I will get into. But let me just quickly read this to you, again from the Introvert's Bill of Rights. It says, "I have the right to be heard, to be truly listened to and understood." minus multitasking interruptions and haste not because i'm more important or deserving than other people but because i'm equally important and deserving now where does this come from well if you're an introvert especially and this is where the introverted twist on this comes in how many times have you had somebody either outright say to you or sort of vaguely communicate to you that you know what you need to talk more you don't talk enough you don't say enough. You don't communicate enough. You should speak more. All of those sorts of things that you often hear when you're an introvert. And often what it comes down to, from my perspective at least as an introvert, is that the reason that I don't speak sometimes, the reason I don't talk sometimes, isn't so much that I don't have anything to say. It's, it's truly that I don't really think that I'm going to be heard by the person who's, who's wanting me to do this. Why? Because there's so many distractions. The, the person will often interrupt when you're trying to speak. I should, I should say that one of the biggest, probably the biggest culprit these days is this damn thing, the phone. The whole world, as we know, is on their phone which is ironic for me to say right now as I tape this on my phone, I get it. But how many times have you wanted to say something to somebody that you're with and they're on their freaking phone the whole time? They're, they're texting, they're looking at things, they're pretending to be listening, but you know in your heart of hearts that they're just not listening. They're not fully there. And so that's what this right is about. You have the right to be heard, to be listened to. And that means the right to be heard without having to compete with the freaking phone, without having to compete with constant interruptions, without having to, to rush. Sometimes people just seem to want you to hurry up and get it out of you. Like, yeah, I'm willing to listen for 14 seconds and then I've got three and a half more minutes of, of diatribe to share with you. I'm, I'm getting on a bit of a rant here. I apologize. But that's where this comes from. Lots of introverts have lots of things to say, but they just don't want to say them to certain people because honestly, they just don't think that the other, that other person is really truly listening. And so you have the right to be heard as an introvert. You have the right to be listened to. And if that's just not coming, if you, if you know from past experience, for example, that that's not coming from this particular person, or if it's been shown in the conversation you're in it, it right in this moment that this person's just only halfway or 25 percent with you you don't have to put up with that you're you're not there's you're you're not required to share things in that context because you deserve to be listened to and again i will say all humans do this is not only just an introvert thing but there's definitely this introverted twist on it as i said so let me repeat this one more time for you uh, as we uh, wrap up this video. You have the right to be heard, to be truly listened to and understood, minus multitasking, interruptions, and haste. Not because you're more important or deserving than other people, but because you're equally important and deserving. You don't deserve to be heard more than other people, but you sure as hell don't 
deserve to be heard less than other people. So keep that in mind as you go about the rest of your day. And thanks again, as always, for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, if you like the other ones that I produce, please share them with others in your life as you see fit. And put them out on social media if you find or if you think that other people would find them helpful. You can also subscribe to these videos on both Instagram and YouTube, by the way, so you can be notified when new ones come out. Again, this comes from, all of this comes from the Introvert's Bill of Rights. And if you'd like to get a free copy of that as a PDF or a physical 11 by 17 copy as a, as a glossy poster, just check them out, both of those on my website. And uh, you can also learn more about me and what I do with introverts there at introvertinsights.com. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. It's a beautiful day here in northern Minnesota, and I hope it's a beautiful day where you are too. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.